So let's talk about how to buy Ripple, Ripple coin or Ripple token on your wallet. Let me assume you are buying. First of all, you can buy Ripple in two different ways. You can either buy from an exchange like Binance or using KuCoin to buy Ripple or you could buy using a decentralized wallet like um, Trust Wallet. All right, so we're just going to go over it right now. First of all, let's start with buying Ripple on Trust Wallet. How to buy Ripple on Trust Wallet. All right, first thing you're going to do is to go to a place called CoinMarketCap. All right. On coin market cap what we are trying to get here is to get the contra id of ripple ripple is the number six coin on coin market cap as at the time i'm making this video right now so you could see it uh, right down here that's ripple right there so if you tap on it and scroll all the way down you see that ripple exists on two different networks the first one is the binance smart chain then the second one is clint I don't know if I spell that right, I pronounce that really right. So now we're going to buy it on the Binance Smart Chain. So what you are going to have to do is to copy the contract ID of Ripple, which is right there. Tap on that. So now when I tap on that, I've copied the contract ID. Then I can now go to my trust wallet right here. Okay. Let me use this one that has a little token. Now I'll click on that up, upper button to add it as a custom token. That's this button right here click there and then paste the contract id ripple comes up but most people can do that by just typing ripple or, or xrl let me paste that first what was the name the name is ripple xrp okay let's type xrp now when you type xrp different version of ripples comes up we have fake rap ripples we have uh, binance spec ripple so you don't know which one you are actually looking out for so you are going to have to use the contra id to buy it let's paste that so it comes up and then you enable it all right so after enable it so now if you come down here you can see i have some i have ripple right here all right so now I'll now go to the browser after doing that after adding it up go to the browser right there and click on pancake swap so if you don't have pancake swap you can just search pancake swap .finance. make sure you are in the right page so that you don't get scammed so now it's up right there so I'm gonna use BNB to buy repo so I click on click on this particular section to change it from USDT to ripple to do that i could just paste the contra id so i don't want to search because why searching okay i click on understand why searching other coins most of these uh, fake cryptos they mimic the original coins and then you end up swapping to a coin that you cannot swap back at so i don't want that to happen so you enter the quantity of ripple you want to buy right here let me say i want to buy it just two because of this for the purpose of this tutorial so i just click two right there and then i click swap now i accept the condition swap confirm swap to take me to this page i click approve yeah and then i approve Yeah, that's sharp as sharp as possible. I've successfully bought Ripple on my trust wallet in no time. Shortly after that, I can refresh the page and boom, that's Ripple right there. I have to Ripple on my trust wallet right here. So now the next thing I want to do, if I want to buy from an exchange, let's say you're buying from an exchange, what you're going to do is let's say you go to exchange like Binance, then you click on uh, market. click on market then search search xrp so xrp slash usdt so now you make sure that before now you have some quantity of usdt in your wallet then click on buy then change this particular section from limit to market and then you enter the amount of the usdt that you want to use to buy 
here at that spot or you enter maximum if you want to use or now i don't have any usd so now nah, but if you have usdt the least you can use to buy uh, crypto on binance spot trading is ten dollars so once i hit buy automatically the token will be bought and the quantity will appear once you click on wallet click on spot you will see the token directly on this section of my wallet then from there i could decide if i'm withdrawing from other from this binance to my trust wallet to like decentralized wallet or metamax i can do that but make sure that you choose the right network see ripple exist on on uh, from binance ripple exists on bp20 ripple network is a uh, bnb and a Terra network so so we can withdraw it through the bp20 network to save transaction charges all right the same thing applies to uh if you are if you have kucoin as an exchange and don't have binance same thing you have to do here is go to market when you go to market this time around on kucoin it's a bit different but it's the same click right there and i click there search xrp xrp oh there are a lot of xrp right here so i have to look for xrp so the xrp we are looking for right there since there are a lot of other xrp so this is the one we are looking at right there xrp slash usdt and we'll just go through uh the same quite the same process you know click on buy click on buy so when you click on buy enter maximum and then so the same thing applies as uh we did in the cook uh binance section so you change from limit to market then enter maximum right here and you know once you click on buy you successfully just put it to automatically reflect on your wallet but this time around it will reflect on your trading wallet and not on your main wallet so you got you could just use the transfer button to transfer in between the different wallet on KuCoin. if you are withdrawing the same way you we did on binance search xr repo tap on it so you go virtually withdraw on okay this place here they only accept you withdraw on xrp network which is 0 0.33 dollars in fee so you can actually withdraw through that means and that's how to buy repo thank you for watching my video please subscribe Right.